Another 2022 draft pick for the San Francisco 49ers hits the open waivers, and this time it's in the form of Samuel Womack. The former fifth-round draft selection was taken 172nd overall, and uh, again, just in 2022 out of Toledo. The 5'10", 189-pound cornerback uh, showed some promise, like if we're being honest. Um there was really that his rookie preseason was actually really good. And it really looked like the 49ers had struck on a guy who at minimum could be good depth and could have been a eventual starter, maybe, uh, but definitely a key special teamer. But after that hot performance in the preseason, he did get some snaps in his rookie season, 146 of them. And he he did okay. He had 14 tackles, one assisted. Um, so it looked like he gave up one touchdown, and he had uh, it appears to be an interception uh, on, under his belt. So he showed promise in his rookie season, uh, but unfortunately wasn't able to compound that into any growth in 2023 where his snaps decreased going from 146 to 70, and he only had three tackles uh, with one missed tackle as well and gave up a touchdown. So really uh, took a step back uh, in his sophomore season, and obviously the 49ers have pretty substantial cornerback depth as it stands right now, and when they were lacking quarterback depth last season, he couldn't get on the field. So I think that speaks to probably the trust that this group had in the young player. So unfortunate for Samuel Womack. I do think he is a talented player. I don't I don't necessarily think he's a starter in this league at this particular time. He does seem like he could be a quality special teamer, back-end roster type of guy. But as I mentioned, there's there's uh, the 49ers brought in Isaac Yadam. This, I think, to me, means Daryl Luter has made it. I had the final roster battle between Rock Yassin and Samuel Womack. So I had Samuel Womack not making it. I had Rock Yassin making it. Now, we don't we haven't heard on Rock Yassin yet, so we don't know if he actually made it either. Um, but. I did predict Womack would be on the outside looking in. I would imagine the 49ers will be trying to get him back on the practice squad. So that's uh, probably, and he'll probably clear, hopefully. Again, I think the thing that we have to keep an eye out for are guys who were in the building when these players were drafted. So guys like Rand Carthon, Adam Peters, those guys who now hold, uh, you know, personnel this uh roles in other teams could be like hey we know this guy let's bring him in so that is a potential but the hope is is that Womack comes back around to the practice squad I think there's potential there so I would want him back I would want him to be a potential depth guy so um, it didn't work out for him this year but hopefully uh, he could be one of those stories where he's able to grow and, and find a place for himself later on uh, down the path. So unfortunate for Womack right now, but hopefully he comes back on the practice squad. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more updates.